Yeah, yeah. Add to the Q when I'm back, you dig? This time we got another one from the legend, the most legendary YouTuber all the time. Mr. Beast. Ages one through fight for 500,000. Behind me are 100 people, and they range from the age one all the way through age 100. And I've trapped each of them in their very own glass cube. The last one to leave their cube is going to win half a million dollars. The challenge has officially begun. Let's see which age is the best. So I'm representing for 31. I've got the best view and the best motivation. You want the best? You got it right here. My daughter's turning three this Saturday. Emery, Daddy loves you. This is for you. 69, feeling fine. Yeah, I got winning on my mind. What's your strategy to win this challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, I have over 300 cameras set up literally everywhere. So we'll be monitoring their every move. And one of the first things I noticed was that the kids had a crazy strategy. My strategy is to make a lot of noise so people like don't get any sleep and they really want to get out. And I can't believe it, but it's working. The old people were not having it and they started leaving right away. And even some of the kids got out because of them. He's building up suspense. Oh. Did you want the money? <laughs> then why did we leave? <laughs> I have good news for you. You've survived longer than the one-year-old. Come on. <laughs> Do you think this will be easy? I am a World War II veteran. Be peanuts. <laughs> True. I appreciate your service. Thank you. We're a couple hours into the challenge, and 10 people have already gotten out. So we decided to leave them alone for the rest of the day, which caused even more people to get out. I want to go home. I want to see my kids. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I gotta go to school. I just don't think it's for me at my age. I got really bored and I miss my dog. Here's some money for playing. Oh, are you serious? But some people were more determined to stay. You know, I'm a big family guy. Hopefully pay off my sister's student debt. I have a deal with one of my grandkids. I'm here to show him how strong I am at 70. I don't need a strategy. I'm good till Christmas. It's the start of day two, and only 76 people remain. Let's see how the 100-year-old's doing. How's it going? I'm away. It's the start of day two. Do you want to keep going, or do you want to get no, out? I, I think I'm going to quit. It's something my family. So my question is, how the fuck do they use the restroom? They may explain that, but I was just thinking that, like, you got to leave to use the bathroom, don't you? We will never forget. He fought a world war and competed in a Mr. Beast video. Yeah. <laughs> Going into day two, I'm feeling pretty good. The money's right there. It's right there within my reach. Whoa, how are you drawing so much on the walls? It's always amazing to see how people fight their boredom in these last three challenges. Some draw on the walls with deodorant, while others build pillow forts. So I'm going to give them an opportunity to take this challenge to the next level. We're 24 hours in, and it's time for a vote. In each of your rooms, you'll notice a green button and a red button. And if a majority of you press the green button, we'll do a challenge. But that will eliminate a bunch of you. If a majority of you press the red button, we won't. And we'll just continue as usual. I chose red. Why take unnecessary risks? I'm not voting green. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're ready to do something. Get some people out of here. Green is we do a challenge. Red is, OK. Reveal the results. 63 people voted for a challenge, and 13 didn't. I've got my game face on today. The game is Three Cup Monty, but we made it slightly bigger. A ball is placed under one of these three cups. Nolan Chandler, start moving them around. Whoever remembers where the ball is stays in the game. Everyone else is eliminated. The guys are so cute, it's hard to keep my eyes on the cups. Have you ever seen someone that focused before? <laughs> what's that over there? You are unbelievably tricky. Oh my gosh, what's that over there? Not, not, not falling for them. It worked on the 82-year-old. <laughs> Do you have any idea which cup it's in? I guess it's up to chance. But some people lost track of the ball and had to trust their neighbor for the answer. It's like you blink or you look away for a second, and it's gone. We relied on a consensus here. New strategy. We're not going to tell them the correct thing when they ask. It's a different color. I trust my people. I think I'm good. I'm nervous because I don't want to get kicked out. They've been watching these cups for an hour straight. If they still know which cup the ball is under, that's really impressive. Everyone, I need you to lock in your votes. Hit the button that lines up with the cup you choose. I don't know who to trust. Green. He said red. Red. She said blue. Blue. Don't trust her. <laughs> I don't trust 
man over there at all. You're done, big boy. Done. Reveal what color they pick. Zingo, only three people picked green. Nolan, were those three people right? They were not. <laughs> Most people pick blue. Let's see if they're right. They are. <laughs> Out. We're out of here. By the end of the challenge on day two, only 52 people still remain. And the tensions are getting higher. We got an enemy now, the, the old guy. I know, look at him. There's friction between these two groups. He told me, Red, she told me the truth. These are the people he's been talking to the whole time we're here. And they told him the wrong color. Her and I were just playing with him, giving him the wrong color. We were just having fun with him. They took it the wrong way. If you got to win by line, then that's not the way we want to play. What they've done is they've turned a bunch of folks what the hell? You're supposed to win by yourself anyway. You're getting mad because he didn't give you the right answer, nigga. He don't have to give you the right answer, bro. Y'all, this is a one, a one man game, right? What the fuck? Entitlement. It's against them. A bunch. At this point, you're probably wondering how they use the bathroom. Push this down. Okay, the light outside the cube just turned on, which means Chris is now gonna bring you a toilet. I couldn't get plumbing in all 100 rooms, so we have portable toilets. This is now a bathroom. Let's it's get out of the bathroom. bathroom. Oh my yeah. goodness, stop filming. <laughs> By the end of day two, almost half the contestants have been eliminated. It was fun to tell them the wrong color because they didn't know what's good. Wait, why do you want number 22 out so bad? <laughs> we were beeping earlier. <laughs> Tension now is at an all time high. Makes you want to get out. You know it doesn't, right? I'm hungry. Leave me alone. I'm hungry. Gotta piss me off. Whole time, this is like motherfucking prison, bro. This is like prison, bro. This is prison. This is, if, if you haven't been, this is fucking prison, bro. Everybody just waiting for their time to go stuck in a fucking cell. And they do bring you shit on lockdown. This is crazy, bro. That's Y'all see how this shit is? Now imagine, like, with lesser quality shit. Stay the fuck out of the fucking jail and prison, nigga. Actually caused more people to leave. It's time to go home. You got really far. Thank you. By the end of day three, 54 and 74 were the biggest targets. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> we're halfway through day four, which means it's time to vote on whether or not we do another challenge. If you vote yes, a lot of people are gonna get out. This is not the same as the last challenge, so vote with caution. How's it going? What'd you vote for? Challenge. You're not worried it could get you out? I like to sow seeds of chaos. It's more fun this way. Why are you pressing it so much? Let's do the challenge. All right. <laughs> the results are in, and only nine voted against it. You each have a piece of paper and a Sharpie. I want you all to write a number of one of the remaining contestants on that paper. Whoever gets the most votes is eliminated. 60 second timer starts now. I told you this challenge would be brutal. This is gonna stink. That's what's going through my head. I'll bet you they're trying to vote me off right now. In the last challenge, there was a lot of lying. So now the people that were lied to are gonna vote out the people that lied to them, so it pays off to be honest. What's your vote? 54, his cockiness and his lying. 74, she's not a very grateful person. Somebody needs to go would be her. He heard that down quick. Yes, we got his whole block. So everybody's voting for 54? Yes. We're gonna see who has more influence. Things are about to get real interesting. Everybody, reveal your answer in three, two, one. Oh, I've seen a lot of same numbers up here. Such a big war between 74 and 54. The results are in, and it was actually scarily close. Within two votes, the loser is 74 with 14 votes. Nolan, can you please show 74 out? One down. <laughs> now we need to do that nine more times. We all just basically came to a consensus at the same time that 10 oh, needs to go. He's so annoying. Like, he literally voted for me and it didn't do anything to him. That's a strong minded child right there. If he stayed the whole time, he could win. The 10 year old's my favorite. I really hope he stays in. Yeah, I'm thinking 10. I'm so sorry, 10. But if I don't vote for you, then they want me out. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he voted for me. Three, <laughs> He's two, one. All right, everyone, show your vote to the camera. Oh. Savages. Oh. Savages. oh my gosh, oh. that is a lot of tens. I'm sorry, little man. This is officially the first decade eliminated. You guys are sick in the head. 
Well, after this entire boat, the only reason they voted you out was because they were scared. I felt so bad for Ten, I invited him on stage with me to co-host the rest of the challenge. Ooh, he's probably gonna kick me out. Okay, I need every single one of you to vote for 14. <laughs> <laughs> 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. Um, I don't know how to put this, but uh, almost everyone voted for 14. We have to think in terms of who's the biggest threat, and this one's gonna be tough. Get ready. It's time to go. The 50-year-olds were determined to eliminate people, and they had the most voting power by far. 73 is also one of those bad apples. 73. Oh, I'm not thinking of it like different decades, like, Oh, so they, that's one thing they have in common anyway. If we all 70s, if we all 50s, it's like some gang shit, kind of. That's crazy. Three, 15 votes. They got a pretty big power block right there. Oh my God. The 50s might single handedly take out everybody in their 70s. 71? But 71 got 15 votes. I've never been so threatened by 50 year olds. It's kind of scary. Are we lost some good friends. Hate to see them go. I hate doing this. It was 75. <gasps> Whoa. This is insane. Almost everyone voted oh 69. God. I feel so sorry for you. 69, you've been voted oh, out. 75. Look at what you've done. The next person is 35 with nine votes. We randomly chose. And I'm sorry to say 21. We can only all be friends for so long. I'm actually seeing a lot of 96, so let's go hear what she has to say. She was very close to being eliminated. Great, this is what you want. I'm happy. Dude, she's so cute. The fact that she's sweet tells me that I know her grandkids miss her at home. My arms. My arms. Let's see who you savages dogpiled on. Show the numbers. Over half of you voted for 96. I don't understand you people. She's not the biggest threat here. Oh. Thank I'm you sorry. for everything. You know, it's the way it is. And I'm happy. Like he gave him about $500. Well, yeah, because it's all singles. He probably gave him like $500 or maybe it's like $1,000 in ones. For, you know, that's good. The ones that leave after, I think left after the second round. That's shit. I'm cool with take. I'll take a little stack. A little exposure. A little fun time. I wanna give a, I'm going to do one of these Mr. B shits too. Happy. You know, it's what everybody wants, and that's what's important. This is heart wrenching. The purge is now officially done. If you're in your cube, you survive. Because of their alliance, the 50s made it through the entire voting game untouched. And yet again, somehow 54 survived. On to the next. Either challenge or no challenge. I had to vote no challenge because I can wait it up. It's time for another challenge vote. I know for 100% I can win if I do no challenges the rest of the time. I vote yes for challenge. My chances are getting better and better, just like everybody else does. I could wait it out. My house would be paid off. I'm ready to retire. This could be it for me. 20 of you voted for a challenge. Why are you gambling? You guys are crazy. Inside of each of your cubes, it's a Jenga tower. We're gonna pull blocks out one at a time. And if your tower falls, you're eliminated. Pull your first block. It can be any block besides the red ones. We're gonna keep doing this until there's only 10 people remaining. Oh. Damn. Pull the second block out. Looks like no one has been eliminated yet. Let's do another one. My heart beat is so fast. I'm just waiting to hear the crash of Jenga blocks. That was cool. Oh my gosh, I called it. One person down. 14 more to be eliminated. This is gonna be crazy. And while they're pulling pieces, I wanna tell you about the Shop app. It's the most amazing way to shop from your phone. The Shop app makes shopping extremely fun. From buying feastable bars to e-bikes to whatever else you're interested in, it's super easy. And when you're ready to buy, you can speed through checkout using Shop Pay. It's not coming out. The Shop app uses AI technology to scan hundreds of millions of products and recommend the ones best for you. Yo, this nigga Mr. Beast is fucking brilliant, bro. This nigga is doing the ad while the movie, I mean, while the video is still, the vlog is still going. Like the, you see what I'm saying? So you're forced to, if you want to continue to watch what's actually happening at the exact moment, you have to watch him present the ad and he's not over flooding you with it. I, I, hey, all my content creators, you know, you, you peep when I'm peeping. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
I done seen people stop the content and say, hey, now let's go to this honey pack or whatever the fuck they promoting. He, I still want to watch it, so I still got to even see, I'm forced to even, even if I'm not even really paying attention to him, I'm still hearing it. That's fucking brilliant. Are you? I'm so nervous. So am I. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't touch. Oh. Shop will even track all your packages in one place so you'll know exactly when each of them arrive. And remember, we're doing this until there are 10 people left. He almost knocked Ooh. Oh! What are you doing? Nothing. You can't be trusted. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Dumbass, man. Oh. I bumped into well, he, the thing. Yeah. Well, he old. I ain't gonna call him a dumbass. He old. He old. He said, he just sat down. He old. Damn. Old head bumped into that shit. Like, he ain't a dumbass. He just old. That's all that was. That was a simple mistake. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Nothing. You can't be trusted. <laughs> I bumped into the thing. Yeah, I noticed. Only one more to go. It all comes down to this. She could be the last person. I can't believe this hasn't hit the ground already. I know what. Bro, your tower is tilted Shut 30 pounds. Up. I can't look. I can't. Oh, I gotta look. I can't look. I gotta look. Come on, Brenda. Think about the backyard uh, Jenga. Rip it. Backyard Just Jenga doll has oh. Jimmy about the oh, no! See, she talking this shit. That yes! is the final elimination. Yes! I can't believe it. I'm top 10. 90 gone, 10 left. Let's go. If Ma wins the 500,000, we are going to Disney World. <laughs> Download the Shop app right now. We're gonna be selling Jenga blocks and other parts from this set on the Shop app, which I'll tell you more about at the end of the video. This challenge has eliminated everyone above the age of 60. The right side of the map is a wasteland. And now that 15 people just got out, we have to tear down 15 cubes. There's no way they're gonna vote for another challenge tomorrow. Look at how many people have gone now. Every single one of these exes used to be a person. There was a human right here. There is no one around me. I'm the youngest one here. If I leave, I leave on a challenge. I'm not leaving, walking out. I have not come this far to give up. I'm gonna let you guys say your votes over the microphone. Do you want a challenge? Absolutely. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Challenge. Yes or no? Yes. We're doing oh. a challenge. Mic drop. Mic drop. In our Squid Games video, you guys love the marble game, so we brought it back. Yeah. Just like last time, the contestants are playing 1v1 against their neighbor. Each player is given 10 marbles, and they choose what game to play. By the end of 30 minutes, only the person with 20 marbles moves on. These guys just wanted to get it over with. This is a $500,000 coin flip. Oh. oh! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. It is heads. First to two wins, right? Damn. It's up to you guys. Oh my god, sunk it. That's one point. Oh! If you make it into any bucket, you win right here. Let's go! Oh my god, he won it! I'm sorry, buddy. All good, all good. Count them up. We have 20. We've got 10 blue, nine red. You're missing a marble? Can you count again? 19. You are one short. I'm not holding on to any. Interesting. There's only seven minutes left, so if you care for this man, you should find it. <laughs> Where is it? You're currently at 18 marbles, and you're at two marbles. It's OK. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whoa, there might be a comeback. It might be. She, see, she's speaking so soon. I found it. Really? Yeah, it was in my bed sheet. Oh. He has one more marble. If you win with that one marble, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I thought that was it. 
That's it. Oh! We can officially step out now. Oh, that feels so bad. This keeps going back and forth. Hey, remember, he said we both go home, so one of us is gonna have to decide a different game. Rock, paper, scissors for half a minute is bad, too. Okay, this is for all the marbles. We're gonna do all or nothing. Does that sound yeah, fair? This is for all the marbles? Yeah. But you have 14 marbles and he has six. Why are you gambling? All or nothing, a minute and a half. Hurry up! Rock, paper, scissors, turn! I got them all. 54 oh. escapes elimination again. 30 seconds remain. Okay. Damn. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have did that, bro. I got fourteen and he got six. No, I think I'm about to win. I'm only six away, nigga. We gotta do something different. We gonna do best of three for all the marbles, at least. Best of three for all the marbles, man. Fuck it, rock paper scissors. That's just me. I ain't about to do no one shot if I'm about to. I'm, cause what the fuck, bro? I'm about to. We either about to both lose or nigga, you gotta compromise with me. I got a lot, nigga. If you had a lot, I wouldn't understand. Nigga, we gotta do best of three or best of five or something. We could do it like that. Best of seven, nigga. We could do best of seven to give everybody a comfortable room. That's seven. And then, come on. We got enough chances to win. I'm hyped like I'm in this shit. I'm going to do one of these Mr. B shits. I swear to God. We're done the last two. It was the same position as this only a couple minutes ago. And the thing is, a minute ago, it was me. Is there anything you want to say to each other before this? I love you. <laughs> Let's just do this, right? Damn. Fatality. It's okay. Congratulations. Yeah. I lost to an amazing person. It was rough. The only people left are 23, 40, 43, 52, and 54. Look at the graveyard of X's. These were all cubes like mine at the start. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Things have been getting a little more intense. Today's my daughter's birthday. It's just hitting home now that I'm not going to be there. When we started, there was a hundred of you, and now we're down to five. Do you want to reduce it even further with the challenge? Yes! Yes! All right, but you guys chose this. In this challenge, the 95 contestants who have already left will vote. And the three of you with the most votes are gone. Wow. I'm definitely worried about this challenge. Certain people here have kind of brushed people the wrong way. You have no idea what people think of you. At this point, I'm rather glad that I didn't really make any enemies. Do you think the people that lost liked you? For the most part. Are you willing to bet half a million dollars that they liked you? I don't know about that one. Do you think the people that were eliminated liked you? No. What's not to like? Let's find out. We literally asked every single one of the 95 eliminated people who they want gone. Heart's about to jump out of my throat. How many votes does it say you got, Joe? Ten. Which is not enough to be eliminated. Yes! He's one of the two that pass, which means only one of these four cubes remains. So, uh, I'm bad with this stuff. You wanna, you wanna handle it? You got it. 23. Yes. You were in fact eliminated. No. To lose it in top five when I've come this far was super painful. I really didn't expect 23 to go. And now only one of these three remain. Do you think it's you? I hope so. That didn't sound confident. You received 15 votes. Oh, oh this is brutal. Love you, Chris. I'm not gonna lie, losing out on that was crushing. After spending roughly seven days here and getting that close to that grand prize and not getting it, it hurts. And now the two of you. All right, we'll come over here. This is tense, very tense. 54. I got the most votes, I know. Wait, how'd you know that? I don't trust the man over there at all. You're done, big boy, done. I just know. Yeah, you did. You got 37 votes. So I'm here. Which means 52, you passed. <gasps> this was a once in a lifetime chance. I've got a 50% chance of winning half a million dollars. As a reward for making it to the final two, I have one last surprise for you. What do you think it is? Well, I have no idea. What is this right here? That's for my, my daughter. Today's her birthday? Yeah. Well, let's see what comes through the curtains. Oh, this see. Oh my God. I'm not gonna let you miss her birthday. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's your dad. No record. Give me Oh, 
regardless if you lose. We're yeah. proud of you. You can do this. Good job. Yeah. This is the fan. Bye. <laughs> I couldn't ask for anything else. That was my everything right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I got this now. Only ages 52 and 40 remain, and they've been living in these cubes for over a week. Day eight. It's been a wild ride. Here I am. I can't believe it. Every challenge I've said, thought it was out, thought it was out. I made it. It's a lot more feasible now in my mind because it's not me versus 98 other people, it's me versus one person. All these X's were cubes with people in them and everybody's gone now and it's just Joe and I. Another day here is not gonna make somebody quit. To come down to something actually forcing one of us to leave. I give them a chance to say no to a challenge, but... Oh my, what should we do? I can't believe they chose a challenge. They are taking a half a million dollar gamble. Inside one of these briefcases is the check for $500,000. And everyone on set is blindfolded, including the cameraman. While I mix up the cases, I promise this will make sense in just a minute. The briefcases are now mixed. And because you guys chose a challenge, you can step out of your cubes and meet in the middle. Half a million dollars is about to go to 52 or 40. I'm going to flip a coin to decide who gets to look inside of their briefcase, mm. making them the only person on set that knows where the money is. It's a game of bluffery. That's right, because then it's up to the other person to choose which briefcase they want to take home. Heads or tails? Heads. Tails, whenever you're ready, look inside your briefcase. I don't even want to know what's in there. I can't stand the burden. 52 now has to decide whether she's going to keep her briefcase or steal his. It's in there. Joe, do you have 500000 in your briefcase? Yes. <laughs> Joe, are you lying? What do you think? Was there anything else in the briefcase other than the money? I saw the Mr. Beast logo. You saw a check in there? Yes. Joe, are you on us? You spent enough time with me, what do you think? This is so nerve-wracking. Half a million dollars on the line. Is she going to keep her briefcase or take his? Wow. It's a big decision. What do you think, as That's of right crazy. now, in your head? Do you think it's in there? I think it's in I there. I don't think it's in there. I think I have it. I think it's in there. I'm so nervous. I think I'm it's in there. I'm actually, my heart's beating. I'm actually feeling anxious for it. No cap, I think, you know why I think it's in there? Because when he, he didn't even have to open it, like, he's seen enough. Like, all right, so if he didn't see nothing on the bottom, he would at least open it. Like, he would, he just kind of seen, like, enough. But he was a good, I, I just think that. I could be wrong. I swear to God, I would take that nigga briefcase. He says, oh, I seen that Mr. Beast logo. How you come up with that off the rip? He coming up with details off the rip. I don't know. For you guys. And you swear that their money is in your case. Yes. He lying. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think it's in there. I think I'm going to pick my case. You're going to keep this. Locked in? All right, Joe, what is inside your briefcase? Oh, my God! Oh, God. I knew it! Oh, Told you. Yeah. I told you. Oh, no. Told you. Bro, I told you. you told her it was in there. <laughs> you. This man literally said he had it. Oh, my God, what a crazy play. What is wrong with you? <laughs> he told the truth and he got it. We said I told you that this nigga had it. Because he, he didn't even have to really, it didn't take him long to open it up. Like, he was, oh, shit, he just seen enough. He, but he, he he didn't let his face display that, though. So that was a good play at all. He, he almost smirked at something. I love it, but I knew it. Said all along, good guys can win. So it pays off to be honest. <laughs> Even though you didn't win, we still want to give you $10,000 and your family a trip to Disneyland uh, oh, to make Liz a little better. You're still gonna go. Yay! We took items from the set and turned them into collectible pieces that we are selling for only one penny. And you have to act quickly because there's only a limited amount of them and they're gonna sell out fast. Click the link below and download the shop app right now. Subscribe and you can win half a million dollars. Later. Also, Feastables is available in every 7-Eleven, Speedway, and Walmart. Yo, this nigga Mr. Beast, this is inspirational, bro.
This nigga got this shit at 7-Eleven and Walmart and Speedway. This nigga selling pieces of his set for one penny. He can sell it for more than that, but he's selling... I mean, he could break down that whole set and sell each piece for one penny that's fucking... Bro. This nigga's brilliant, bro. But that was a good-ass challenge, bro. I, I want to do one of them shits, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. That nigga really done... Shout out Mr. Beast, man. Y'all let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications. I'm gone.